everybody. Sam from samburger.net again. We are straying away from burgers for a minute and we're going to do root beer because I love root beer. I love that you have all these different root beers here and they're all a little different. You can do it a million different ways. I've actually started brewing my own root beer at home, tweaking with the recipes, trying to get my own little, little thing going on. Um, and today we're going to taste test all of them. Um, but first we're going to start with the big boys. These are the guys that, uh, you know, the mass produced, the Pepsi and the, and the Coke and the A&W and the Shasta owned root beers. And uh, we'll figure out who's the best between those big guys and then we'll figure out who's the best in the bottled, the bottled more novelty kind of root beers. I love soda. Eric loves soda. I do. He goes, where, do, where is it you go? I say, if there's a couple of places that uh, I've heard about, but I've been to Galco's Old World Grocery in Los Angeles. It's a giant warehouse filled with soda from all over the country, all over the world, and some sodas you've never had since you were a kid. Yeah, crazy sodas. Like, and there's another place down in Gateway Mall down here in Salt Lake that uh, called uh, Rocket Fizz. They have crazy sodas as well, hundreds of sodas. They even have a brownie bacon soda. Yeah. A little weird, but whatever. But also, I should let you know, while I love root beer, I'm in a strange relationship with my wife, who is behind the camera right now. She doesn't like root beer, which I don't understand at all. She doesn't like freedom either, from what I've heard. <laughs> I guess. But there's these people out there. Like, you ever met a person who doesn't like pizza? No. Every Can't once in a while, I'll run into yeah. someone who says, oh, I don't care for pizza. I don't believe them at all. I, I can't even conceive of such a no, thing. No, I don't understand how you can taste this delicious nectar of the gods and say, mm, not my thing. I just, I don't get it, but there are a few of you out there that don't like root beer. I don't get you, but whatever. And Whitney and I, we have a great relationship. We've gotten past this hurdle in our relationship, which is good because, Eric, what do you do for a living? I make root beer. No, I, I'm, a, I'm a divorce lawyer. Yeah. So those of you out there, if, you have, if you're in a hard relationship where one of your spouses doesn't like root beer, this is your guy. He's a very good divorce attorney. Just kidding. Um, but we'll get started. So we're going to start with the big boys and uh, see which ones are the best. All right. So these are the four um, big box mass-produced root beers. We're going to try them out and see, see which one's the best. By the way, I tried to get Hires root beer. Could not find it anywhere. I've been told now that there is a place to find it because they actually drive to Idaho and grab it themselves, but it's not actually distributed here. I would in encourage Asia. you to do like a footnote later on, another short video. I might have to. Once you've found that. If you know where to get hires in Utah or anywhere nearby, let me know. But now we're going to try these four root beers and we'll tell you which ones we think are best. Okay, I'm going to oh, okay, yeah, try the same, the same ones you. together. Taste it like wine. Yeah. But I think, actually, I am trying to. Should we get some water? Oh, I guess to cleanse our palates. Could you just uh, cut for a moment? We'll get some. All right, so we did number one. Let's do number two. Hey, where'd these cups come from? Amazing. Film. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be harder than I thought it was. Okay. That, I'm surprised how hard it is, but I'm, I, I think I know what that one is. I think I know what this one is. Ooh. And I will, <laughs> oh I will confess, part of it is because I can, I actually think I can recognize the, the color. Foam. The color. Oh, really? Interesting. So not only the taste, but by color and foam. Interesting. Yeah, both of <laughs> Whoa. That one's a lot different. Way more different than the other ones. Yeah, I think I got it figured out, though. I think I'm going to go four for four. I realize that... I'm not. I'm not going to get this at all. But this one, I think... Oh, yeah, because this one is so, like, vanilla -y. This has to be a and W. I think this is Mug. Really? I think that's a and W. Or this one's a and W. This one's Mug. That's what I think. Interesting. All right. But what would out. you say is your favorite? Um, wow. That is hard. That was surprise. I Okay, here's what I think it is. Barks... Shasta, a and W mug. That's what I think. Interesting. This one is not my favorite. I, I know think that that's Barks, right and it's not my favorite either. 
I enjoyed this one so much I drank all of it. Yeah, I think I have to agree with you. This last one is better. It's there's a lot there's a lot more going on with these. This one is boring. There's not a lot going on. But all right, but all we'll right. we'll flip these papers right, over and we'll so find out who is who. You ready? Yep. Barks. Barks. You're right. You so far. That's all right. It served its purpose. Barks. This one, mug. Was that right? I can't remember what you guessed. I said it was Shasta. Oh. That one's got to be Shasta. That's A and W. No question about it. A and W was the third one. <laughs> no way. I'm really surprised. So that means our winner was Shasta. Your and I have to say this. I've always been a Shasta fan, and I thought I could re recognize it. I've always loved Shasta, but mm -hmm. I didn't think it would win. Interesting. Okay. So the discount flavor, the stuff you get in the grocery store from the, you, you off-brand, we thought that was the most delicious root beer of the big root beers. Interesting. And what's interesting about those is it's actually cheaper to get a two-liter bottle than to get a... <coughs> excuse me. Than to get just like a bottle of root beer. It's actually cheaper to get a two-liter than a small... It costs bottle. less. Yeah, it just costs less. That was only 99 cents to get all of those each but interesting so Shasta wins out on those ones right. should we move on to let's, the smaller bottles now? yeah let's move on all right so my wife has randomly picked four of the novelty glass bottle uh, root beers and um, now we're really in the dark we have no idea because there's some of these I probably haven't even tasted ever before in my life right there's eight to choose from and this is just half of them um, we'll get the winner from this, and then we'll do another four, and get the winner from that, and we'll decide who the winner is between those two. But uh, by the way, now which of these looks the best? This one, yeah. But with the right. foam, I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but with the foam, that just looks that just looks good. But we'll we'll see. Um, I say we start with these. Okay, let's do it. it looks good. So this gets points for for appearance. For appearance. Yes. Okay, it smells like fluoride treatment at the dentist. Kind of tastes like fluoride treatment at the dentist. <laughs> Not yucky. No. But. All right, let's start from the, this this middle guy. This looks pretty boring. Pretty plain. Oh, we're supposed to drink our water. Being told by the director. Why didn't you tell me before? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that tastes like my uh, my yeast root beer. I make it. Yeah, oh, yeah, very very yeasty. yeasty. That's, That's weird. That's not very good. I mean, it's it's not horrible. All right, All right. which one do you want to try? Let's try that one. I understand why some people don't like root beer now. <laughs> yeah. <All right. clears throat> it's pretty mild. It's got a good mouth fill. It's thick and foamy, but it's pretty mild. Yeah, kind of you know, just plain. White bread. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's exactly <throat> what I'd say. All right, number four. <clears throat> this one's just a little white bread, like we said. Yeah. This one's better, but it still didn't blow me away. This one tastes like... May I have a sip out of yours? Just really yeah, absolutely. This tastes like bread dough. And this one's pretty good. It's kind of like graham crackery. Uh, Unfortunately, I, I cannot get a, give any of them my stamp of approval. <laughs> nope, none of them are good none, enough. None of them are good enough where I would like to have any more. But what's your favorite one of them? The one I, the one I dislike least <laughs> uh, would probably be... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it. No, oh, come on. You're asking me to make... Yeah, I won't do it. Oh, it has to be between uh, I, the one I okay. These two, worst, second worst, and these are a toss-up. Okay, so we're agreed that this one is probably the better of the two. Yes, we can both by a, yeah a plurality okay. opinion. So right, speak. right, right. Okay, so we'll find out who it is. So our winner, we'll see who that is. That is interesting. Okay, I well, see. they've done themselves proud then. Good job. And now wait, our second place right here. Yes. Henry Weinhardt. Okay, there we go, Henry. There we go. And then this is Stewart's. Stewart's. This is our third place. Yeah. 
And who is the worst? It's got a, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, I think it's Bundaberg, because I've had them before, and they yeah. are an acquired taste. Bundaberg. Wow. Yes. You know what? That, that's a triumph of marketing. The <laughs> fancy bottle makes you think it's better. It's true. And maybe that's, like, authentic. I don't know. But it's just not very good. It tastes, I mean, I've never, I, I don't know much about beer, but it, I imagine. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it tastes like bread dough. All right. So, should we move on to the next yep. four? Let's move on to All the right. next four. All right, so IBC was our winner, or? Um, IBC didn't lose. Right, Let's put right. It that way. It, I liked it, it was fine, but Eric wasn't a huge fan, but we'll say that It IBC was clearly was. better than a bunch of bad yes. contestants. Yes, yes. Here's our last four lineup. Should we start over here? Okay, yeah. A little bit of a cherry note on yeah. this. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that is fruity. Ugh. It's okay with me. It's yeah, okay with me. There's a, something a little weird about it. Hmm. Fruity root beer just seems kind of weird to me. Musty. Ooh, I like that one. It's kind of got a little bit of bitter in there. Tastes like it was filtered through like a flannel suit. I don't know what that says about my taste. No, I no, 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 no. Yeah, by the way, I'm not trying to criticize you. I'm Interesting. Mm -hmm. That is different, though. It kind of it's kind of dry. Is that the right <laughs> adjective? No, I think what you mean is dull. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. <here. laughs> All right. <clears throat> Number three. Wow. It's now complex. this, yes, exactly. Yeah. You took the words right out of my mouth. There's a lot going on there. NyQuil undertones. Hmm. But not bad. Mm -mm. Is NyQuil made of soda? Which they should, by the way. Tastes better than it smells. I taste some winter green or some mint. Yeah, lots of it. Did I say winter green? I didn't mean the lifesavers. I meant winter green. <laughs> Actually, I did mean the lifesavers. It did, but it's, it's not very like minty. Which, by the way, I have a friend from Italy who hates root beer with a passion. He says it tastes like toothpaste. I can see that. Which I guess. But sign me up. I want root beer flavor too. Yeah, have you ever had? Uh, have you tasted uh, some of the Italian sodas? Yeah. Yeah. You'll pardon me <laughs> if I question your mm. soda judgment, you Italians. Okay. First, second, third. For me, it's a tie between these two. This one would get the nod actually if I had to just. I actually really like these two. And this one is fine. I don't love it. I think it's pretty dang good. And this one, I think I know who does this one. Okay. I think this is Virgil's. Okay. I think. And it is good, but to me it doesn't really taste like root beer. All right. May I do the honors this time? <clears throat> Yes, but Which first, me let, me, let, me, right. let me figure this out. i got to figure out who the winner is for me You're, between these two. Right, by all means. Hmm. It's that one. I don't, you can't like that one. I, something, I like something about this, but I would say probably this one wins. For me, it would be first, second, um, third, fourth, fourth, because that doesn't seem like root beer to me. Okay, ready? Dad's. Dad's. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pop him over here. Jones. <laughs> that was Jones? That was interesting. Jones. Virgil's. That was Virgil's. Okay, which one's that one? Go ahead. Brigham's Brew. By the way, this is a Utah company that makes this. Yeah, Brigham's Brew. Interesting. It's mintier than I thought it was. when I've dr I wouldn't have given it that. All right. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so minty. Okay. Shall we move to the next phase? Then? All right. So now we're going to do the winners between those two. So now our winner is 
Oh, we got to decide on a winner. Oh, we here. have to decide on a winner. Yeah. Uh, you said it between these. Da- these I'm Dad's two. and Brigham's Brew, and if I had to give the nod, it would be Brigham's Brew. Brigham's Brew. Mm-hmm. Especially now that I know this. See, and I would give it to Virgil's. So maybe we test test Virgil's and Brigham's Brew and IBC. Sure. Okay. We'll go through those three and decide who wins. All right. We're back to the root beer finals. We have our four contenders. Whoever wins this is the best root beer we've tasted today. But I should mention that all these root beers, traditional root beer was made with sassafras root. Or no, yeah, sassafras root. But for some reason they say it's a carcinogen now. And so they don't... I, by the way, it's because it's a carcinogen. Right, but it was because they tested it with rats. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of people that discredit that, that, um, that notion. That, that being said... Bring on the sassafras and the cancer. I would love it. Yeah, so would I. Worth it. But none of these will have sassafras in it, so you could argue that none of these are real root beer anymore because they don't use it. But they, but instead of sassafras, they use licorice root or wintergreen or something like that to get a similar taste. All right, where should we start, Eric? It's up to you. We're going with plain Jane right, right here. I can't believe it tastes different. I mean, I... I <laughs> Didn't you expect to recognize it? Yeah. Okay, so far neither one of these is Shasta, I'll tell you that right now. No. Oh, by the way, we decided to put Shasta in the mix. We'll find out the true winner. So Shasta was the winner of the, the big mass-produced um, root beers, but we're going to see if it even competes. That's pretty good. I can't remember what it is, but it's pretty good. So who do we have in the mix? We have Brigham's Brew, IBC, IBC. Dad's, or no, not, that, not Dad's. Dad's. IBC, Brigham's Brew, IBC, Virgil's and Shasta. <clears throat> a lot of vanilla in that one. Yeah, <clears throat> I still they taste different. Yeah. If, if you hadn't told me we were drinking stuff we've already had, I would have said, "Ah, these are all unique." <laughs> Man, this is gonna be hard. That has a lot going on. I can't even remember which root beer I said that for earlier. Yeah, yeah, the one that was complex. Uh huh. Mm, I like that. It's one. good. I do. Now Shasta's in here, and I think I know which one Shasta is. I think Shasta's this one. I do too. But I ha- well, first off, let's say this. This one's my favorite. I think this one's my favorite. Okay, and I said that was Brigham's Brew. I'm going to change my mind. I think that one's Brigham's Brew now. But they. I think this is Virgil's. I think this is Shasta. And this is IBC. And I think this is Brigham's Brew. I will agree, but only because you told me that and it makes sense because (laughs) I would have had a harder time figuring it out. And he's a lawyer, by the way. I convinced him. Yeah, I got to say, these are clearly the two best. Yes. This one is the one I like least. Yeah, I think that's Shasta, and that probably helps to make me think that, because I have a soft spot in my heart for <laughs> Shasta. Right. Okay, you ready? Right. Yeah, let's see it. IBC. What? Man, we are horrible at this. <laughs> but, but I mean, I guess the game isn't guess which one. Right, but, but still, that's one of the game layers, right? Brigham's Brew. Wait a minute, the one that I thought was the worst? This is embarrassing. I'm so confused. Shasta, okay, hey. Yeah, right, it was Shasta. Shasta, right. And Virgil's. And you got Virgil's right. Virgil's was my winner. But, okay. um, so I would say, hands down, for me, Virgil's wins. I want to taste Brigham's Brew again because I thought I loved Brigham's Brew. And I did, I mean, these are the four of the best, so obviously you get any of these and you're still winning. But, um, interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So who is my okay. winner? Well, I was really hard on IBC the first time, but I would say it was, um, which one? The, that was good, and that was good. Brigham's Brew disappointed me the second time around. I would have to say, all things considered, that uh, I, Virgil's won. Virgil's is the winner for me, too. It's very complex. There's a very a lot going on. Good it tastes stuff, like yeah. nine different things. Yeah, a little busy, but I'm yeah. not to the point of, of being off-putting. Mm. It's very good, though. So. Interesting. So, there we go. Our this was winner. a lot of fun, by the way. That I would encourage you to try it yourselves. If you're having a back- backyard barbecue or a picnic or something, because it was fun. By the way, none of these did I hate, except for maybe Bunderberg. Bunderberg has this cool bottle, has a pop tap, 
I mean, like you said, it was a marvel of marketing because it looks so cool, but it tastes like bread dough. I don't know, and maybe that's authentic and it's from Australia, so it's foreign, but me, not a fan. <clears throat> but, but yeah, so there you go. Virgil's, congratulations. You win. You're probably not surprised. And Shasta, you've done yourself proud. Yep. Very interesting. That was much harder than I thought it would be. I couldn't believe, I mean, even when we came back and retasted the ones in the final round, couldn't recognize them. It was very difficult, but kind of cool. Kind of cool. Well, I've had a great time so far. I've had a lot of good hamburgers. I have some wonderful root beer. I can't wait yeah. to see what your next project's going to be. What should we do, you think? I don't know. French but, fries? But I'd like to be there when it happens. Maybe French Whatever fries. Who makes the best French fries? Mmm, that could be interesting. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll come out with some more videos and uh, enjoy your Virgils. Where'd it go? Thanks for watching, everybody. We had a great time doing this. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back, so stay tuned.